Okay, hello everyone. My name is Peter. Welcome to this video brought to you by Squarespace. And today we're going to draw in this little notebook I have right here, a little sketchbook. It already has some drawings in it, but well, it sounds like it could use a few more. We have what I think are some pens right here. Uh, but first, a few other things were sent to me by some fans and viewers. I hope you're all hanging in there. You're doing okay. Um, right, this one is sent by Nicole E. You can see there's some very nice uh, art on the front of it there. Biscuits Champagne. Le Fèvre Utile. Very nice letter from Nicole here. And she says she doesn't have much, but she does have this postcard to send and a nice pen to write it with. And uh, it does look very juicy. For inspiration, she has a book recommendation here. If I read it right, it says The Mode in Costume by R.T. Wilcox. She says that's uh, got some cool drawings in it. So thank you for that recommendation and the nice letter there, Nicole. Okay, another letter here. This one is from Stacy. And I've skipped I've skipped right to the end where it says PS Ink, Monte Verde, Copper, Noir. And it is, as you can see, a very nice ink. I like how that looks. Stacy says that. She found my channel after going down a fountain pen review rabbit hole one afternoon. And then she got, bought and ordered and wrote this letter with the Peter pen. This says here. And uh, that's what this was written with. And thank you for this super nice letter, Stacy. Very kind of you. I appreciate it. You're all too nice. And all of your handwriting is... Uh, Incredible, frankly. This one is from Ray. I've gotten a few things from Ray before. It says, Dear Peter, I love my Peter Pen. I'm sending you this, the first thing I drew with it. Hope you like it, and I hope you're doing well. Keep on trucking, Ray. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that, everyone. Actually, I think I remember seeing this on Instagram. It might have tagged me or something. I never thought that I would see it and hold it in person. I think there's a little bit of uh, glitter in the ink. I might be imagining that though, just that it seems magical to me. Pretty awesome. Smells like it was drawn with a Peter pen. Very, very well drawn. That looks amazing. Thank you for sending me that, Ray. Very generous of you and skilled. All right, and then there was this, and this came in another envelope. It came all the way from India, and I have an idea of what's in here because, you know, on those custom forms, you gotta like uh, put a like sometimes, depending on where you're from, where you're sending it to, you gotta put a little description. Put a little description of what's in your package. Uh, it said macrame on there. But also the weirdest thing about this package is it was from India. And I don't know if it's, if I was supposed to receive this part of the documentation, but taped to it was a photocopy of this guy's government identification card. Is that normal? Was I supposed to get that? I, th I threw it away. I probably should have shredded it or something, but it felt a little bit weird. I don't know. Okay, this is from Sariji Handicrafts. This looks like an invoice. Oh. Opal ordered this, the person who sent me those other two things. Opal Sky. Opal Sky, you sent me, three, this is the third thing you've sent me, but this is the first time you've sent me someone a photocopy of someone else's government ID card along with the thing. <laughs> All right. Here's installment number three. I didn't know this stuff was called. Is this what macrame is? Check it out. Macrame. This one is also very pretty. I have one now hanging. I don't really wear like necklaces and jewelry, to be honest. Um, I have one hanging near my computer and one hanging uh, near my bed. 
Uh, maybe I'll hang this one, you know, near my drawing location here to ward off. Um, I don't know, things. I'll put it on for this video, though, of course. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Opal. <laughs> Very nice. Cool little container, too. I could fit maybe two apple slices in this. And now let me show you a quick interludary doodle about Squarespace, our sponsor. Squarespace makes it very easy for you to set up your own website. For example, if you're running some sort of business or even a little side hustle where you're selling products in person, Squarespace has features that make it very easy to automatically keep your inventory and sales data in sync with your online store if you also want to sell stuff online. Plus they have all these incredible templates. You might want to set up a portfolio or a gallery to show off what you've got going on. So get yourself out there. Show everyone what you've got. Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Peter Draws for 10% off your first website or domain. Right now, Someone told me that knives aren't allowed on YouTube anymore, but how else will I get into my packages? This is from uh, Gravitas Pens in Ireland. Hmm. It has a certain smell, not like a bad smell. I'm trying to figure out what the smell is. I think it, yeah, I think it's this leather stuff. I, that's what I smelled right off the bat when I opened it was all these uh, little leather items. Interesting. Look at these. I'm not sure which one I should open first. This one, these are very pretty. I kind of love this uh, this container right here. Listen to this. <laughs> okay, and of course you know I like little holographic stickers on stuff that makes it feel special. Um, uh, okay, what's in the little box? Okay, we got some cartridges. I'll put these right here. I don't know why I pulled all of them out. I probably should just leave them in the box. Put them back. Okay, here's the first pen. Okay, very uh, minimalistic. It's got a nice kind of blue sheen to it. This has, This is like very finely ribbed. It says EF on the nib. Feels like maybe aluminum or stainless steel of some kind. I like this tip right here. It reminds me of uh, those those uh, tools people use to break out of, you know, shatter car windows in emergencies. You probably could use it for that. It, it looks dull, but uh, it feels sharp. Right? He said that uh, there's there's kind of, there's like three pens and then one that's a little bit more of a doozy. So I'm guessing these are the three. Here's a 1.5, ooh, let's compare these. Oh, wait, wait, okay, I just gotta un unbox the third one. I do like these little sleeves. I wonder what, uh, this is some kind of uh, lettering or does this mean something, I think? This looks familiar. It's some kind of script, right? This one's greenish. So we've got a bluish one, a blackish one, a greenish one, and this one says M. So check out those nibs. Finest over here, M for mild, and then 1.5, a little bit broader right there. They're cold to the touch, I like that. A good weight to them. Oh, these all come with pistons in them, I'm assuming. First impressions before we look at this one, uh, I like the black pen the best. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, it uh, posts too. There's just something about the, I don't know, it's just uh, kind of ominous and simple. But I know there are a lot of people who are into these, uh, you know, colored pens. If you go on fountain pen websites, you know, there's whole people, you know, people that have whole collections that are, you know, rainbow themed or you know, matching their outfits and stuff like that. So there's a bit, there's a definite, definite market for these. You can see there's a, the gra it's like their company logo right there. So I'll, I do like the minimalistic design. Like there's not a whole lot going on here. Okay, let's see. 
what's in this one. It feels kind of heavy. Ooh. Oh, it's like, it's like rainbow anodized. Wow. Whoa. Wait a second, guys. Is it, wait, is this a joke? Is this part of this? Or does the actual, I feel like he put some perfume in here. I can't tell. It's, it smells like fruit roll-ups. What is going on? Why does this, as soon as I popped it open and rolled it out, I smelled it. The fruit roll-ups pen. Now it is pretty heavy, but uh, <laughs> you know, this is the doozy of a pen. The ends here are interesting. They almost look like ballpoint nibs, but they don't roll or anything. Uh, it's a cool, it's a cool touch though. The color kind of comes down to a, a tip there as well. Check those out. See, I'm not really sure what's going on there, but it's un, it's not definitely different than anything I've seen. <laughs> They kind of look like two beady eyes, but really like a ballpoint pen that doesn't turn at all. And here's the nib, completely unmarked except for that one line across it. And it says, B on it for big. Comes with the piston converter. Oof. This is a, uh, I was just talking about how I don't like colorful pens, but this one, it caught me off guard. And I don't know why it smells. <laughs> it smells like my, <laughs> like, I was just making sure that it wasn't my Burt's Bees. Like, uh, it smells really good. Okay, okay. Now, I think we're going to use some of this ink. I'm just going to use some plain black ink in it, you know, to counteract the intense colorfulness of the pen itself. Uh, before we got some of this Intelligentsia Imperium ink and we used the, uh, before we used the Eric's Veiled Black, which is actually a shade of purple. Today we're going to use the Ab Abusus Obscure Black, which I think is actually more of a shade of black. It's still sealed, as you can see. Paper towels. Actually, looking in the lid here, it actually looks a little bit bluish. Maybe all their, maybe they have, maybe that's like their thing. They have like all these different shades of black that are just uh, um, other colors. I don't know. Fully submerge the nib. Pull it back out. And do it twice to get rid of a lot of the air in the nib. There we go. Okay, put the back of the pen on here. And then the, the lid is very, look at that. That's a crazy looking pen. And it's, it feels serious. I'm guessing it won't post at all, but this is just one of those pens. I mean, you know, you get to a certain level and uh, you just don't post the pens it anymore. I mean, I don't even really want to try it because I'm afraid of, uh, you know, scratching the nice colorful surface here. That's cool. Okay. Oh. Dear viewers.
How are you? Smiley face. It can write smiley faces. That's good enough for me. All right, so there you have it. It looks pretty. Ah, it's heavy. It fell out of my hand. I was like trying to balance it here on my fingers and. All right, so there you have it. It looks pretty. Ah, it's heavy. It fell out of my hand. Okay, it still works. <laughs> Anyways, I'll be more careful. I guess I'll hold it with six fingers instead of four. Um, basically, what I was trying to say is that uh, I think I was going to say it looks pretty. It works pretty good. It works really good. I don't have any problems with it so far. But really, of course, my uh, my true test of any fountain pen, as always, is to try to draw a picture with it. So that's what we're going to do now. Ooh, I really do like it. This is a great addition to my collection. Definitely go check them out, gravitaspens.com. Uh, this is very nice of you to send me. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate that. I think you sprayed something in there. You knew I was going to sniff it, didn't you? I feel like the scent is fading. <laughs> Did you rub Jolly Ranchers on this? Fruit Loops? Actual fruit? This isn't gonna attract ants, is it? So time for a quick test run with this pen. Let's start drawing. I got out the Nebula Note sketchbook, which is the book I've been drawing in most recently. Um, you know how it kind of goes. Sometimes you're drawing in one book, sometimes you're drawing in another, but eventually you kind of start picking up momentum in a certain one. And right now that's this Nebula Note one. Um, it's distributed by the same company that does like Noodler inks and the Colorverse inks, stuff like that. It's uh, Luxury Brands of America, which at first I actually thought was a like a made up joke company because it sounds like kind of a goofy name. Um, I thought it was like a like a scam, actually. Luxury brands of America, but it's a real company that distributes these um, stationary products, pens, inks, um, you know, note and sketchbooks and stuff. So um, I like most of their stuff so far. So cool. Thanks for sending me this stuff. Uh, anyways, I gave the I gave the pen a run and it's, it worked well. And I will say also the inks that I'm using today, this uh, Intelligentsia Imperium, I think it's called. Also not a black ink, even though it's labeled as black. Like, what's going on? Uh, I mean, it's fine. A lot of people do prefer it. I I, I am just, look, I'm accustomed to, to having a black ink come out of the pen when I pour ink into it that is labeled as black is all. But no, that's just a personal preference thing. The ink really worked good, looked good. Uh, I'm just nitpicking here. Okay, it's fine. Anyways, this guy who runs this company, I think he's the pen maker, Ben Walsh. He has an Instagram, call, Instagram account called Ben Walsh Design. And he didn't even ask me to make, like, feature it in a video or promote it. He actually said he just wanted a, he just wanted feedback on the pens. And looking back at this first message he sent me, uh, he says, Hi, Peter, I'm a pen maker. I've been working on a new pen that's releasing soon. It's... And I feel bad now because this pen he's talking about is are the three pens that I unboxed at the beginning of the video. And um, he asked for my feed. He's, he says, I'm not looking for a promotion, just an honest critique. Um, so I feel bad that I used the other nice, big, fancy pen he sent. And I didn't even try out the other little three pens because it says they're, they're um, it says it says, it's made specifically for beginners, but will also cater for the experienced user. It's a light bodied fountain pen with a weighted section, which I hope will make long writing and drawing sessions much easier. So I guess the idea is that that one is, um, so if it's catering to beginners, it's a little bit cheaper. Anyways, maybe I'll do another video with those three pens, see how it goes because it's, yeah. uh, the only thing I 
gave him any feedback on was that they felt good. They did feel good. And I'll have to actually try using them. Uh, and an explanation of the smell, okay? I... I, I didn't ask him about what pens he was going to send. I wanted it to be a surprise, which is kind of unrealistic for an unboxing and or a pen review. Usually if you order a pen and um, you know the typical consumer experience of pens is not usually that you're surprised by what pens you got. So maybe I shouldn't be doing that. But that's kind of what I like because I don't know, it's like more fun for me. I kind of have all the pens I want already. If, I don't know if that's bad to say. Um so I'm, I kind of like the surprise of opening a pen and not knowing what it's going to be. So he sent the pen. I didn't know it was going to smell like that. So after I d filmed that unboxing part, I sent him a message and I said, is it supposed to smell so good? And he said, yep, that's a little something I do. It's a pen. It's meant to make you happy. I add a scent to my packaging to make people smile. The colorful pen is called the Skittle and it smells like Skittles. He says, thanks, by the way. I never expected you to do any videos or anything. So he seems like a nice guy. I mean, of course, I would I, I would feel bad about accepting four pens and not making any videos about them, especially when they're so cool. I hope he doesn't um, get into any, like, sort of um, legal trouble calling his pen a Skittle. And I don't know if he rubs Skittles on them or spritzes the essence of Skittles on them. But it really did smell good. I mean, I could tell I, I could tell that it wasn't the pen itself that smelled that way. Kind of like if you've ever gotten an Ahab noodler, it's like the actual plastic of the pen itself that has that uh, incredible scent. I won't tell you what it is. If you ever want a pen that smells strongly, uh, get, the, get the Ahab noodler, all right? Take a whiff of that thing. Uh, but yeah, this one, it was just yeah in the packaging. That is a cool... It's like, I kind of like that that little touch. Like, let's take the pen experience, the consumer experience, and bring in another another one of our senses. I mean, of course, it's not good for everyone. I think some people, you know, are very are a lot more sensitive to that sort of thing and don't like other senses and stuff like that. But it was great for me. It tickled me, if you couldn't tell. I enjoyed it a lot. It did make me happy. And I unexpectedly like this colorful pen. Usually, if, if you've noticed my typical tastes in pens, it's usually the plain, uh, like brushed aluminum or brushed stainless steel pens or plain black pens, very nondescript minimalistic pens. But this one is just, it reminds me, I don't know if, if any of you have ever heard of uh, video games or if ever, any of you have ever played a video game. But a lot of video games these days, for example, um... Path of Exile, for example. Some of these video games have something called microtransactions, usually something where you can buy cosmetic effects or skins for other items. Other games have this too, you know, Fortnite, PUBG, League of Legends come to mind, but basically you can buy cosmetics, you can buy skins for your items, and basically that's what this pen kind of made me think of. Like there's a normal version of this pen, and I actually think... I saw it on this on Ben's uh, Instagram. It's like a normal black, like matte black version of the pen, which also looks very nice, by the way. Um, uh, and then this one looks like the version where you spent like 500 gems or V-Bucks or whatever in-game currency to put a cosmetic skin on the pen and make it look all flashy. You know, I grinded. I uh, I did a bunch of drawings, and uh, yeah, I upgraded my pen to look all nice and flashy, and uh, I don't regret it, okay? Maybe, maybe I got mom's credit card out, but no, maybe I worked for it. You'll never know. Now, we just need hologram technology to advance to the point where we can upgrade our pens, um, you know, with like floating halos and wings coming out of them and uh, particle effects, right? I think hologram technology is coming along, though I saw some video, an article, where they're making holograms by using lasers to suspend particles of dust and then using those particles of dust suspended by lasers to draw images in the air. So they're actually like physical images in the air created by particles of dust. But I think then you're... What if you could... You could hit the particle of dust out of the air, out of the laser beam, right? 
So then you couldn't like run your hand through it like they do in the movies. I don't know, but I'm just glad to know people are trying. There are smart people, dedicated teams of smart people trying to make holograms a thing. That's all I need to know to sleep well tonight. To know that tomorrow we will be another step closer to having pens with particle effects. Okay. Good night, everyone. <sighs> Time for a shower. I do like this pen, by the way. Very surprised, pleasantly surprised by it. It's this one pen I didn't know I wanted. But now I'm glad I have it. Thank you, Ben. Go check him out. Go check out his website. All right. Good night, everyone. All right. Good night. Goodbye. You know, no, you hang up first. No, you. I'm still here. No, I don't. I don't hang up. Oh, my battery is 